Hello readers, it's Sasha and today I am going to be filming the introduction to my newest reading vlog. So you probably can tell by the title of this video, but I'm going to be attempting to read seven books in seven days. So it is still technically December while I'm filming this and I wanted to do it in January, but I have the next four days off of work so I figured it might be best if I just get it out of the way and do it while I have days off because I don't have that many consistent days off in a row at all before I want the video to come up. So I have a list of seven books here that I want to read in the next seven days from the Goodreads Chooses My TBR video. So let's just dive into what I'm going to read and yes. So the first book I'm going to be attempting to read is Even If I Fall by Who Knows. And this is about a girl whose older brother killed his best friend and she ends up coming in contact with that best friend's younger brother and they start forming this like bond, this like friendship because they both need somebody to talk to. And I don't know why I wanna start with this, but I am, so that's that. <laughs> The next book I'm planning on reading is Nexus by A.L. Davro, and this is a book about a girl who was in an accident in a world where you're supposed to be perfect. So she's coming to terms with like her new identity and she finds a lot of solace and, and excitement in a video game that her father or like a virtual reality game or something like that that her father created. I don't usually like game type books, so I'm interested to see whether or not this is really gonna vibe with me but I wanted to get it out of the way, if I'm being very honest. I just wanted to not have it in my life anymore. So yeah. Next, I plan on reading You Don't Know My Name by Kristen Orlando. And this is the spy novel about this girl who is a spy, but she's falling in love with a boy who isn't a spy. So she's trying to choose between the life that she was groomed to have or the life that she has always wanted to have. So this one, I'm kind of drawn to this one just because it's short. We love to see it for this type of video. It sounds like a book that I read when I was 12 that I like literally could not put down and I know I'm a lot older than 12 now and my reading habits have changed, my likes and dislikes have changed, but I'm really excited for this one. Next I'm planning on reading The Start of Me and You by Emery Lord. I've never read an Emery Lord book, but her writing appeals to me. I like cutesy little contemporaries. And this is about a girl whose boyfriend died in an accident. And so she's trying to convince everybody that she's kind of like recovered from that and she's back from that. Although this is like a long book, I feel like it'll be kind of a quick and easy read. Like it's almost 400 pages, but I feel like, I feel like it'll be easy to get through because it just seems like a cutesy contemporary. So yes. Next, if all goes as planned, <laughs> I want to read read You Won't Know I'm Gone by Kristen Orlando. This is the second book in the You Don't Know My Name series. I think it's called the Black Angel Chronicles. Yeah, I obviously really love spy books, so I kind of got the whole series on a whim, and we're hoping for the best. So I would like to continue on with the series because A, again, it is small. The writing's big. It's like not even 300 pages, or like barely 300 pages. So yes. Next, I'm going to try to read Our Year of Maybe by Rachel Solomon. This is about a girl who is kind of in love with this boy who has been on the transplant list for a kidney since she met him and she finds out that she is a match and so she donates her kidney, but then he feels like he's kind of indebted to her even though he doesn't really like her in the same way that she likes him. So obviously I'm intrigued by this book, but the only reason I'm doing it right now, like reading it during this time, is because it's available at my library and I don't want to like take the chance that it won't be and not not have it later on in the month so I'm going to read it for this. And finally I have two options for the last book. So the first option, the one that I'm hoping for, is The Map to Everywhere by Emery Lord which is the sequel to The Start of Me and You. I just had a feeling that I would really like it so again I bought the sequel which was maybe a bad decision but it's fine and I don't think it's gonna be here on time that's why I'm saying like I don't think it'll be a thing but I'm gonna try to hope that it's a thing but yeah I would really love to be able to read that for this but if not then I am going to read Fable by Adrienne Young. So this again is a relatively short book which is gonna be great for the end of this because I feel like I'll be drained but it is about kind of like what is it about? <laughs> oh yes it's about a girl who's like trying to get back to her father after her father left her to not be with him anymore. I don't know. I know it's kind of like piracy and that's pretty much all I know. The cover's gorgeous. The 
hardback is stunning i love everything about it but i've heard so many mixed reviews like my friend here who i trust his reading taste because we have very very similar reading tastes he didn't like this it was in his like worst books of 2020 video t so we're gonna see we're gonna see how i feel about it this lovely stack of books plus two that i have on kindle are the plan for the next seven days social life who i don't know but i'm ready i think i'm i'm ready for the challenge like low-key excited for the challenge so i will be vlogging my experiences reading for seven days straight so thank you for tuning into this video please stay tuned i was about to do my outro but please stay tuned because there's more to come bye hello we're starting it's a thing it's official i am just getting ready to start reading even if i fall by i still don't know and i'm hoping to finish this today today is kind of today is a day today i am taking noah to get a haircut i'm going to my mom's to get a mop because our swiffer broke and i am having a, a friend over to exchange christmas presents so Will I read the whole book? We'll see. <laughs> I will update you guys, I don't know, whenever I feel like it. It'll be a time. Bye. So it is about 5.30 p.m. and I've only made it literally like 26% of the way into this book. So I'm concerned, but it's okay. It's fine. I like it. Like it's a good book. It has a really good message and it talks about topics that are normally avoided in a uh, young adult contemporary like it doesn't tiptoe around the the hard-hitting aspects of what happens when someone is murdered like it doesn't tiptoe around it so it it tackles that like familial grief as well as just other things <laughs> um so i i am enjoying that aspect of it i'm also enjoying the relationship that is brewing because i thought it was just gonna be like them not really like i don't know i expected it to be kind of like an insta lovey type of oh like her brother murdered my brother but like she's hot kind of situation and it's not and their relationship or what i don't know if will turn actually into a relationship but a friendship their bond or whatever is forming over their need to discuss what happened without being censored by their families you know so the main character whatever her name is wants to talk about the fact that her brother did do something bad you know and he's in prison like she wants to be able to acknowledge that but her family shuts her down and is like no like don't talk of that and heath who is the main boy wants to talk about the fact that his 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 brother's dead you know and his brother isn't going to come back and he wants his family to acknowledge that but they won't so they're both starting to form this relationship where they each want to talk to each other and have this like common need of being able to speak how they feel without being judged by their families for bringing it up so i like that so I i'm interested to see where this goes it's definitely something that i am breezing through but at the same time i don't feel like i'm reading very critically because i'm breezing through it like when i read very fast it's hard to stop and and like put any notes down that i want to note in my um notes app on my phone like it's difficult so yeah i don't that's it i have a friend coming over shortly and we're gonna give her her christmas present eat some falafels that noah made and have a good time and then hopefully i can finish it by the time i go to sleep tonight because that is the goal <laughs> that is what this whole video is and i would really hate to fail on the first day of this challenge so yes i'm going to leave now so that i can read so I just thought I'd give a little bit of an update. I am, I think, 56% of the way through Before I Fall by Abigail Johnson. And I like it. Like, it's a good story. The relationship, the bond, the friendship that is, is blooming is really sweet and really pure. And hold on yeah the relationship the bond that they have is really sweet and it's it's just a very pure story it's a little heavy like it's it does deal a lot with the murder aspect and it does it is heavy you know it deals with the the grief like i was saying last time and we've gotten a little bit deeper into how the grief is manifesting in both families and it's really interesting so it is 10 3 right now i don't know if i said that already but i definitely think i can finish it today i think i picked a good book to start with because the kindle app was only 267 pages so i feel like it was a good choice to start with because it was small and like i could work my way <laughs> up to one of the bigger ones so yes that is that is it i just wanted to update you guys before 
before I continue to read. I think I'm going to finish this in one sitting right now because I watched Hell's Kitchen, we had our friend over, and now I can just focus on reading for the rest of the night and then possibly edit my video, but I'm probably just going to catch up on some of my watch later videos because those are, I've kept it below 100. That is the goal to keep it below 100, but we'll see. Anyways, that is all. Thank you. Goodbye. Before I flipping forget, are we not going to discuss that Ali and AJ released a potential breakup song again? Like, I'm, I'm so happy. Oh my god, I was so happy when I saw that it came out. I was like, stop. Like, I didn't know it was coming, and then I forgot that it was coming out today, and then I saw like a tweet about it, and I was like, I went to YouTube and I listened and the nostalgia but also like I didn't think the song could get more badass and then it did so it's like anyways that's all I had to say bye so it is around 11 45 I think p.m and I just finished before I fall by Abigail Johnson so I completed so I completed the first book of seven for the next seven days <laughs> this is a really good book I think I'm gonna give it 4.5 out of five stars something about it isn't standing out as a five-star read and i don't know i think it might be the southern charm that the dad has where he's like in flashbacks he's like you as a man you need to protect your family and all that stuff i just don't like that <laughs> in books like it kind of bothers me but i don't know i also just wasn't sold on like the relationship aspect of the story i think what did happen was extremely realistic but I don't know, I just wasn't sold on it. So 4.5 is still an amazing rating, but I just don't think I can give it a full five stars. So that is that. <laughs> I don't exactly remember what I said I was going to be reading next. Oh yes, I do. Nexus by A.L. Davro. I'm nervous because I don't know if I'm going to love it. Like I don't have high expectations. My expectations are actually quite low going into it because I don't think it'll be for me, but at least that way I'll know that it's not for me and I can take it off of my list and give it to somebody who might actually really enjoy it. So now I'm just going to watch some watch later videos that I have in my file and then go to sleep and get up I don't know when to start reading for tomorrow. I'm also gonna hang out with my mom for a little bit tomorrow because I haven't seen her, like really seen her since Christmas day because I've been working. So probably gonna hang out with her for a little bit, possibly finish watching the Santa Claus 2 because her DVD player and then her TV box crapped out. So we haven't watched our Christmas movies like we always do. So we have that to do. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's it. That's all you're gonna see from me tonight. But yeah, I'm pretty, pretty stoked with the amount that I got done today in terms of reading. I am happy with it. So that's that. So I will see y'all tomorrow or maybe, I don't know. I'll see you at some point. <laughs> um, bye. Good morning. I don't know if you can hear Noah snoring in the bedroom, <laughs> but it's like 11 a.m. So it was time to get up and start Nexus by A.L. Davro. This is over 400 pages, so I have to read that today. Yeah, so if you're unfamiliar with what Nexus is about, it is about a girl who lives in a city called Ab Evanescence, and in Evanescence you have to be like perfect, you have to be beautiful, and this girl was until she got into an accident, so she's kind of coming to terms- oh you can see peaches! <laughs> That's so cool! Okay, she's kind of coming to terms with her newfound appearance and newfound situation, and in the meantime she's going to take comfort in this online virtual reality that her dad created, and she meets a guy there who like gives her comfort and reassurance and all that stuff. This might be 400 pages of torture today. We'll see. I have to hang out with my mom a little bit and I have the Winers live show where everybody hated <laughs> everybody hated the afterlife of holy cheese. I loved it. <laughs> Tea. So I'm just gonna start. It's gonna be an interesting day. I'll check in later. Bye. <laughs> So I'm
I'm about 105-ish pages into Nexus, and I'm actually really liking it so far. I didn't think I would because virtual reality isn't really something I'm interested in, but I, I really like it. When the synopsis said that an accident happened and like robbed her of her beauty or whatever or like made her even uglier or whatever something like that um i was kind of just picturing like a really really small accident like something that wasn't even a big deal but it was actually like pretty heartbreaking what happened and i was this might sound weird <laughs> but i was like happy that it wasn't something trivial like it was actually something that meant something and also i don't hate the reality part like the virtual reality part is kind of cool and there's almost like a mystery element going on which i'm kind of enjoying so yeah i also didn't realize that i had the second book in this series I don't know if it's a duology, a trilogy, or like an actual series, but I have the other book, the second book, which I didn't think I had, but I do. So that's exciting. I'm going to take a little break now because reading a lot at once is making me very tired, but I don't know how I'm going to be able to finish it today because I have a lot going on, but I, I definitely like this. Like, I think it's really good. So yeah it's good. It's another another solid read for me. So I will check in a little later on. Bye. I am 200 pages in. Well, I'm actually like 240 pages in now, but I forgot <laughs> to update you guys. I like it. <laughs> like, it's really good. I am shocked at how much I'm actually really enjoying reading this. I do wish I wasn't reading it all in one day because I feel like I could enjoy it a little bit more if I wasn't, but I'm quite impressed with with the book so far it has a little bit of steam like it's it's not it, it's not at all steamy but like it's got a little bit of like you know so that was unexpected and it had a little bit of humor like there's some jokes there's some mystery aspects to it i'm still not understanding fully like the actual mysterious element to this i i still don't understand the point i don't understand what's going on so hopefully that'll be explained toward the end of the story a little bit more but yeah i am really enjoying it i've got it marked so that i can take a little break every 50 pages or so wherever a chapter ends so that's helpful but i'm just i'm i'm really pleasantly surprised at this like my mom got me this a while ago and i've put it off in fear that it was going to be bad and then i forgot what it was about and then i just didn't read it because i forgot what it was about but then when i got it for the goodreads she's my tbr i was worried that it was gonna be bad <laughs> so it was a cycle but it's really good i'm really pleasantly surprised i do own the second book and it is the last of the series so I'm going to probably try to read the second book at some point this month because my brain cannot remember book series. So like if I don't finish the series in the same month, I'm not going to remember anything that happens. I'm not going to remember characters. I'm not going to remember plot points. And I just don't want to annotate. Like I don't like annotating my books. So we're just going to try to read that as well this month. But I'm really enjoying this. Yes, it has gotten to points where I am just like, what is going on? Like I want to know why this is happening. I don't know. Like I can't say much without spoiling it, but I'm really impressed with the writing. I'm really impressed with the style of story. I'm really impressed with a lot of things. Like there are a couple things where I'm just like, what the fuck? Like why is this a thing? I'm going to read for a little while longer. And then I have the Afterlife of Holly Chase live show where nobody liked the book. <laughs> but me except for Amanda so that'll be fun <laughs> so I'm gonna do that and I'm really gonna try to finish this tonight I it is a lot it is so much but tomorrow is even worse because I'm having a Christmas movie marathon with my mom I think there were like six or seven movies slash short Christmas films that we watch every year that I picked out tonight at her place and then I was at my place and I picked out four more that I always watch with her but I didn't this year so <laughs> what is reading <laughs> i feel like i made a mistake doing it right now like doing this reading challenge right now it's gonna be it's a disaster it's gonna be a disaster <sighs> okay well that is all <laughs> i have to say i am going to continue reading because i really <laughs> 
I need to get this shit going. Like, I need to actually finish. But yes. All right. I'll see you. I'll see you shortly. <laughs> Bye. so i just got to page 301 in nexus and i feel like the last 100 pages have kind of like the action has picked up but the story itself has kind of went down i feel like i don't know the story itself like it's still a good story like i still really enjoy what's going on but i'm really invested in the actual like first part of the story like i feel like there's two parts to this story and i can't say anything without spoiling anything so i feel like this is just a mess but there are like two parts to the story and the first part is something that i'm much more interested in and much more just invested in like i just want to find out what's going on with that part but this part where they're in the virtual reality i'm less invested in like yes of course i love the relationship like i think it's so cute and i really enjoy them but i'm more invested in what's going on outside of the virtual reality because that is like actual reality and i'm dying to know like what's going on and if you've read nexus then you know what i mean but i don't think you have because it's a very 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 not popular book but it's a very good book like i feel like it should be a little more popular than it is so yes i'm enjoying it it's it's good my energy is like zapped right now <laughs> like i feel really exhausted i kind of have a headache but i feel like i re that's because i read this without my glasses on so i'm going to take a little break and watch like a booktube video or two because i usually watch like a few videos before i go to sleep so i'm gonna take a break watch a couple of booktube videos noah will be home from work in like 20 to 25 minutes so yeah I am just going to take a little break and get back into this shortly because I'm very tired and that's that. Alrighty, so I'll see y'all later. Bye. Hello, I have finished Nexus all 400 and some pages in less than 24 hours. I'm quite impressed with myself. I am giving this four stars. I really ended up loving this story a lot more than I thought I would, but toward the end, I feel like the story did start to drag and especially the last quarter of the book was messy. Like, I don't know if maybe I was rushing to get through it or if it just genuinely didn't make a lot of sense because I feel like it didn't make a lot of sense and I was struggling a little bit toward the end, but I still really enjoyed the premise. I'm excited that I have the sequel and I'm definitely going to read the second book this month if I can get to it. I just, I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I was going to and I'm looking forward to it being done because, you know, like it's done. I don't have to read 400 pages anymore. I'm tired. So my plan is to go to bed. Not really. It's like, it's like 1 a.m. almost. My plan is to watch like two or three more YouTube videos before I go to bed and then I'm gonna play Among Us and do some word puzzles because I like to do word games every night before I go to sleep and my plan is to wake up around nine o'clock tomorrow morning which is so early oh my god but I'm watching so many Christmas movies with my mom tomorrow plus I'm supposed to read a book like a whole a whole book like where where is that going to happen I don't know so I figured getting up early would be 
beneficial so that I don't feel incredibly stressed by the time tomorrow rolls around. So that is what I'm doing. That is the plan. I am ready to just be done with the seven books in seven days thing. I don't know why I chose to do it. I don't know what possessed me to want to do it, but it's fine. So that is the plan for tonight. Tomorrow, I think I said I was going to go with You Don't Know My Name, which is about a spy girl who has to choose between being a spy and like being with the boy next door that she loves. And it's a trilogy, so I'm gonna assume she is like a spy. <laughs> spoilers so you don't know my name it's less than 300 pages so i feel like it's going to be easy to get through tomorrow and that is that so thank you and i'll see you tomorrow start reading you don't know my name by kristen orlando <laughs> i didn't go to bed till like 3 a.m last night because by the time i finished nexus and then like actually like wound down to go to sleep it was a little later than i had wanted but it's okay hey Hi. So, yeah, that is what's happening right now. I will update you guys at points. I don't even, who knows? But, yeah, bye. now around 10 30 and i've just gotten to page 100 so this book is like really easy to get through but i don't know it reads really young like it was written in 2017 or like it was published in 2017 but it's got like 2010s energy to the max like it has a lot of chat speak which is something that we talked a little bit about on our live show last night and how it's like a huge pet peeve for a lot of us and i didn't realize how much of a pet peeve it was until i was reading this and i was just like what do you like what does that mean like how old am i like what does that even mean so yeah there's that that's that i'm going to get ready to go and then i'm going to head to my mom's but i'm pretty impressed with the progress that i made so far there's obviously like a cute little romance brewing but she has to choose between being a black angel so like a spy for the cia or living like a normal life and, and dating and, and all this stuff when she turns 18 she's not 18 yet but her heart's just really not in the black angel's life like she wants to have friends she wants to date this guy and i'm excited to see where her journey takes her but i'm i'm still apprehensive to the book itself because i'm not i'm not vibing as much with the writing style like there have been a couple things that have been said like she spent the night at her friend's house overnight and her friend's a guy whatever and then her aunt sam so like her her like aunt but like not really just like another part of the agency was like oh that's cool is your hymen still intact and i was like excuse me <laughs> what <laughs> so that was a that was a choice it's definitely not a five star read but it's definitely not awful either like it's still within like a four or a 4.5 range for me right now but we're just gonna have to see where this takes me today but i'm not even gonna think about it now i am just going to think about christmas movies and entering into 2021 having watched all of the christmas movies and short films that i watch every single year so i'm going to get ready and i'm going to my mom's and i will update you guys later Oh, one day, please.
is everything about this angle <laughs> um i just kind of figured i just got home after watching a lot of hours worth of movies and films with my mom so i believe it's around 6 30 or 7 right now and i'm going to continue reading you don't know my name i did get to read a little bit while i was at my mom's but it was not a lot <laughs> like definitely not enough to give you like coverage on what's going on but yeah so it's yeah i don't i don't know i don't know what else to say i am going to continue reading i'm hoping on getting this done tonight i am so tired <laughs> oh my gosh but i'm hoping to get this done tonight actually i have to get this done tonight it's part of the challenge but i'm hoping to get it done specifically before midnight because i don't want to not be able to finish this book in 2020 do you know what i mean like i want this last book on my goodreads challenge and like just in my mentality so without further ado i'm just going to continue reading because i want to and that's that's where we're at bye time is clearly not something i'm very good with because it is only 7 15 and i've already reached page 200 and i think this book only has 285 so like i only have 85 pages left to go tonight which is great i'm so glad i picked this book because it's so short but the story is definitely picking up like at first i was like obviously i'm very excited because the premise was something that intrigued me just immensely but at first while i was reading it i was like i don't know how i'm gonna feel about this I don't think it's going to be for me, but I'm actually really enjoying it. I'm I'm liking where this is going. I'm glad I bought the whole series because I feel like it's going to be the kind of thing that I just want to like know what happens and know what goes on at the end and know where Reagan's decisions lie and all that jazzy jazz. So I'm quite happy with that. And yeah, I'm just, I'm feeling pretty good. So I'm taking a little break right now editing a video that you guys have already seen my 2021 most anticipated releases video i'm gonna edit some of that because i haven't edited in a few days and i feel like it's something i need to do or else i'm gonna run out of scheduled videos and i'm gonna panic <laughs> i also want to film my december wrap up tonight because once i finish this this is obviously the last book i'm reading in december so i want to get that filmed this evening as well and i need to shower so i've got things to do it is new year's eve yeah i don't care about new year's eve like some people care so hard i don't i literally don't care it's just another day like i just get to restart my calendar and try to have goals for two months and then fail them and then go back to being the same me so i don't care <laughs> i don't care about new year's i'm not doing anything special for new year's noah's at work right now and i'm at home and i like it it's 100 percent my jam so that is that You don't know my name by Kristen Orlando. It is 8 30. I feel so accomplished. I'm so tired, but I'm so happy that it's done. I really ended up enjoying where this story went. I had a good time. I'm giving it a 4.5 out of 5 stars just because my 5 star just would not make sense given the fact that it had chat speak and I hate chat speak so much in books and I didn't realize how much I hated it until it was in this book so much. So didn't love that and I also just didn't love the amount of times that Hyman was said. Like Hyman was said four times and I would literally never talk about my Hyman to any of my friends and I feel like I'm not alone in that situation. But anyway, yeah. So 4.5 out of 5 stars to my last read of 2020. It's fantastic. I'm so happy that I'm done this book early because now I have time to relax, catch up on some booktube, and possibly start tomorrow's book, but highly unlikely. <laughs> and I just feel really good about what I accomplished today because today was just a hectic, hectic day. But I feel really good about where I was at, what I was able to accomplish. So that is everything that I'm going to say probably for tonight. I'm going to go take a shower and film my December wrap up and then I'm probably just going to catch up on booktube, edit some, and that'll probably be it for the night because I'm very, very tired. So yes, I'll see you in the next clip. Bye. It is New Year's Day. Noah is just getting me Subway because we don't have food in our house. <laughs> and yeah, 
I have a lot to do today. I literally don't know how I'm going to read the book that I chose for today. And I could just choose a different book and make my life easier. But when I have a plan, I don't like not having that plan anymore. So yeah, the book I chose for today is The Start of Me and You, which is almost 400 pages long because who knows? I just, I don't know. I do think it'll be an easy read because it is a contemporary and I can usually fly through contemporaries pretty quickly. But here's what I have to do today. It is, by the way, it's like 1 p.m., almost 1.30. Noah has a friend coming over tonight like to meet me because like they were in school together this year and it's it, whatever so yeah she's coming over so we have to clean a little bit and that's gonna take some time and not that our apartment's like messy it's just that like you know it's gonna take some time and then I have to edit my December wrap-up video which is supposed to be coming on the third and it's the first and I don't have it like edited or scheduled and I don't know what to do with myself because I've been editing and scheduling like two or three videos in advance for the past like month so stress and I have to read this book <laughs> so yeah guess who's gonna be up awake until like 3 a.m today it's gonna be this girl so I'm gonna see if my library has it on audiobook but I don't think it does and then I can listen to it while I clean but I, again I don't think it does so I'm just going to leave now and read a little bit of my book while I'm waiting for Noah at the subway place okay bye I've cleaned well we've cleaned our apartment for the friend that is coming over tonight I have edited 10 minutes of my video, which is going up on Sunday. Today is Friday. And I've read 60 pages of my book, The Start of Me and You by Emery Lord. And I'm really, really loving it. But I'm not going to go too far into depth. I'm hoping to maybe get 40 pages in before his friend comes over, which is supposed to be in 15-ish minutes. But I'm banking on the fact that she'll be late because I'm always late when I go somewhere. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So, that is kind of what's going on. Bye. background is my laundry machine aka the dryer and Noah playing video games oh. so so if you hear talking that is what it is so I have read 100 pages now of the start of me and you by Emery Lord I love it it's so cute it's so wholesome it's just the sweetest little story I love it so much I can't wait to continue I have broken it off again like I did with another book I did I don't remember what I broke it off into sections so I felt like I was accomplishing things when I got to a section I can take the cue card out and it's all good so this is what I have to read for the rest of the night all the way to here so that'll be interesting Noah's friend just left and we are going to just chill for the rest of the night I'm planning on still editing some probably watching some booktube videos as well as finishing the lovely the start of me and you so yeah I'm surprised because I still like I know I'm on day four but I still don't feel like my reading energy has gone down like I still feel excited to read but at the same time I'm also like tired all the time so I think that might have something to do with it but yeah I am probably going to edit a little bit of my video right now just because I like to do things in routine and I read 100 pages or I read 50 pages since the last time I edited so I think I would like to edit now and then hopefully I can schedule that video tonight and then I can just focus on this book and watching some booktube videos that is the goal so yeah this is this is good I will update you guys again once I am done the next hundred pages it'll probably still be in this position on the desk and yeah that's it that's all I have to say bye so I was correct in saying that it would be in the same position that you would see me next time. I have now finished 200 pages of The Start of Me and You by Emery Lord and I'm realizing how much I love this book and how much I want to read more Emery Lord. So I'm really liking it. It's not really a chore to read, like I'm just really enjoying the book and I've been breaking it up in 50 page increments so it feels a little more doable and a little more realistic but I'm really enjoying it and I don't know, I just, I like Emery Lord's writing and I know she's written like a ton of books so I'm going to be looking into those because I really like this one. I am probably going to take a little break right now because I just don't want to be reading anymore and I'm tired of reading and I'm tired of editing like I don't want to do anything um so I'm going to do some things related to our wedding because Woo! 
I forgot that that's happening in five months. So I'm gonna do a couple of little like planning things and then I'm going to probably eat popcorn. Bye, <laughs> I'll see you later. Hello, so it is midnight and I'm not finishing this book today. I think I'm like 223 pages in, but after I updated you guys last time, I was like, okay, I'm gonna take a break. And so I watched A Hell's Kitchen with Noah and then we were like, let's go get McDonald's. So we went to McDonald's and now- we're Yeah, we're healthy. <laughs> and we watched an episode of Big Mouth and now it's like midnight and we have to get up early to go grocery shopping because the stores were closed today because it's New Year's day and then i work from 12 to 8 30 no i work from 12 30 to 9 so i really don't know how i'm going to get these freaking i don't know how i'm gonna get these books read but i'm going to do my very best i've got this book another book another book and another book like who am i so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try to finish that book tomorrow before and during work like i know obviously not like during when i'm working but like on my break and also like in the morning after we do the grocery shopping and i'm hoping to tomorrow night i'm taking part in some sprints with some friends on i think rachel's channel so i'm hoping to get either finish it there and then start another book or hopefully start my other book there and then by january 4th i think is the last day of this challenge i will hopefully have read the seven books so we're gonna we're gonna really try but yeah i'm just gonna go to bed now because i don't want to read anymore bye i did not do anything with the start of me and you by Emery Lord until 11.30 this morning. And it is now 12.10 and I'm on my way to work. So like, I have no idea what I was doing, but it wasn't anything productive. I was playing this game, actually I know what I was doing. I was playing this game called Project Makeover. It's so addicting. It's so stupid. Like it's a really, it's a very clearly stupid game, but I love it like so much. So that's what I was playing. And now I'm just like, oh shit. Like I have to finish two books today if I want to be on track for my challenge for myself. So that's awkward. It is snowing right now, which we love to see. We love the snow in this household, but yeah, the roads are like fine. It's just snowing. I love the snow. I think it's great. It's a good time. Anyway. <laughs> I'm hoping to get sent home early today because usually the 1230 to 9 person gets sent home like an hour early because like there's no need to have three people. So I'm hoping that that like remains true today and I can get sent home early and then I can read some before the reading sprints and then continue reading during the reading sprints that I'm taking part in tonight. Like I think that would be amazing. So that's the goal, but if not, I am just going to read during my break, like fully during my break, and then do the reading sprints when I get home. No, and I didn't go grocery shopping this morning. I woke up and I like died. I was not able to get out of bed. I didn't want to, so we didn't. So yeah, we're doing that hopefully tonight at 11 when he gets off because Sobeys doesn't close until midnight. So we're hoping to do our grocery shopping from like 11.15 until 11.45 because we never take that long doing grocery shopping. Like we're always like in and out. So it's pretty good. I will update you guys later when I get to the 300 page mark. Right now I think I'm at about 250, which is a lot better than I was yesterday. Well, not a lot better. It is a little bit better than I was yesterday. So that's exciting at least, but I will update you guys when I'm at actually 250. And yeah, we'll go, or no, when I'm at 300, why am I like this? And we'll go from there. So thank you and goodbye. Hello, I am in the middle of a reading sprint with my friends here on booktube and it's been great so far it's been helping me get through this book a little bit quicker i am now at page 300 and i do feel like i have progressed a lot it's easy to read like it's easy to get through like i think i got through 20 or 25 pages in a 15 minute span like it's so easy to read and so easy to get through so it's making it a lot more enjoyable for me but i'm also just really liking this book <laughs> I can't wait to check out more Emery Lord because she's really good. I really like contemporary I'm learning. I just like the feeling that I get when I read contemporary because it makes me feel like I'm watching a Netflix movie and I really like watching Netflix original contemporary movies. So yeah, I am thriving. I am going to continue reading because I was supposed to finish this book yesterday and finish another book today and I'm not even going to start the other book today.
so that's awkward <laughs> but yeah i will uh, catch up with you guys when i'm finished with the start of me and you but i think a bunch of us are going to be playing among us after this <laughs> which i'm really excited about so i don't know <laughs> how my rooting is actually gonna go bye Okay, so I feel like I owe you guys an update because it is like 8.30 p.m. on the 3rd of January, which is the day before this vlog ends. And yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be a test to see whether or not I can actually get through these, but I figured I owed you guys kind of like an update as to like what's been going on. So today I did start reading around 11.30 and I worked at 12.30. I was going to get up around 9.30, but I decided not to. So I got about 50 pages in for You Won't Know I'm Coming, I think is the second book in the spy series that I read starting this. So I'm 50 pages of the way into that. And I also checked out Our Year of Maybe by Rachel Solomon on the Libby app. She wants to say hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. What's up? Come lay. She won't lay if there's like a blanket there. You have to move the blanket for her because she's a little princess. Anyway, so yeah, I tried reading that while I was at work today because I decided to not bring my book and just do the Libby book while I was at work. But unfortunately, I didn't like it. I gave myself like three pages and I was like, I'm not going to enjoy this. So I stopped reading it. And I know that's like not enough of a chance for a book, but I don't care. <laughs> Essentially, it was about a 15 and a 14 year old boy and girl and i had assumed that they would be a little bit older but unfortunately they were 14 and 15 and there's nothing wrong with that but like one of the first couple of like conversations between them was do you ever think about it and the it was sex <laughs> i was so unimpressed oh my god i was just like we're not i can't i'm i'm i can't do this so i returned that promptly and i checked out a danger to herself and others which is also on my goodreads choosing my tbr list and it was the only other one my library had so i decided to go for it so i did start that i'm about 90 pages in on the libby app and i really like it i i have issues with the main character but she's supposed to be an unreliable narrator she's supposed to be a very 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 morally gray slash unreliable person but i don't know if i like that because i'm reading it and i'm just like this bitch lying like actually lying to my face rude so so that's an issue <laughs> but honestly like i really do like it i'm having a lot of fun reading it it takes place purely in this like rehab center for teenagers with mental illnesses and it's like in the mountains in california like it's it's really cool so i'm looking forward to continuing that hopefully finishing it tonight if not finishing it tomorrow but i am gonna try to finish at least one of the books tonight and get at least halfway through the other one so that tomorrow i can read the map from here to there which is the second book in the series by emery lord the start of me and you series it came today so i'm gonna read it i'm really excited and then half of whatever book i don't finish tonight so i need to get to business bye hello so i am just over 200 pages into what is this book even called? You Won't Know I'm Gone, which is the second book in the Black Angels Chronicles, which I started for this vlog on the last day of December. And I really like it so far. Obviously, like, I do have some problems with the main character. Like, I do think she's just kind of like, I have to, I do, have it to do it because, because, because this is what, is I'm, what meant I'm meant to do. To and do. I'm, I'm going to just, just screw what everybody authority, authority tells, tells me. me. I just want to be me. Like, yeah, it's kind of frustrating, <laughs> that kind of thing. But I do feel like the storyline is a lot better in this. And there's no more weird mentioning of Hyman's. And there's no more awkward text chat. So... I like this a lot more this time so yeah that is great i am going to finish this tonight because i have less than 100 pages left so that's super exciting and then i'm probably going to try to read a little bit more of a danger to herself and others and then hopefully i can be at least a little bit more caught up to where i wanted to be by today so that's exciting but for now i'm going to upload and schedule a video for i don't know sometime before this vlog comes out and then i'll get back to reading bye hello let me explain to you how i did not finish this challenge so i really had good momentum starting out but unfortunately i just could not keep it up i did end up reading five and a half books in seven days which is like still really good and something i'm very proud of but at the end of the day i wasn't going to 
pressure myself. Like if I couldn't read the seven books, it is what it is. But I am still proud of the progress I made. I ended up getting five books off of the Goodreads Chooses My TBR that I wanted to read out of the way. And it's only January 5th right now. So I'm really happy about that. But unfortunately, I just couldn't get all of them. And that's okay. Like I'm completely fine with that. I'm currently reading A Danger to Herself and Others. I am about halfway through. That's why I say five and a half. And I really like it. I have some issues with the narrator because she's extremely unreliable. Like she's a, she's the most unreliable narrator I've ever there's somebody in the car beside me. She's the most unreliable narrator I've ever, ever read about, so it's been kind of a struggle. I like reading it, but at the same time, like, it is kind of difficult because I'm like, who can I trust? What is really going on? And I have a feeling they're gonna do something stupid with the ending that I'm just not a fan of, and I don't want that to be the case. Like, I want it to, to continue on the path that it's going. I think that would be ideal, but it is a really good story, and I feel like the mental health aspect of it is actually quite well done. I just hope it doesn't change courses halfway through. So, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now, but I did end up reading okay i read before i fall or no oh my god it's not before i fall even if i fall by abigail johnson nexus by al davro you don't know my name by Kristen orlando the start of me and you by emory lord you don't know i'm coming or you don't know i'm gone or and i think it's you don't know i'm coming by Kristen orlando and i'm halfway through a danger to herself and others so i do feel really good about that progress and i'm really happy with what i was able to do i like how you can see the dust that's really hot. Okay. It's not the end of the world that I couldn't complete it. I still think this is going to be a good vlog. I'm still very proud of it. So yeah, I just wanted to conclude with the fact that I absolutely did not <laughs> get all the books read. And I mean, who is surprised? Not me. But at the same time, you know, just be proud of the little progresses that you make. Because if you try to force yourself into reading, it's not going to be good. It's not going to be fun. You have to know what your limits are and what you can and can't do and then you're good so i'm currently in the car i work in about two and a half hours ish and noah's getting five guys for us because five guys has finally come to my city and i'm very excited i mean it came like a year ago but like covid i've had it like once since i came here and i love five guys so yeah and then we're going home and it's just gonna be a nice day before i go to work and that'll be that so thank you for tuning into this vlog please don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more content i do post twice a week and until next time bye readers